All right, bro, just follow me. When you get to Brian, just say the word, he'll let you in. I got you. And call me if something go wrong, because last thing I want you to see is a cat. Huh? Where, where'd you go? Hey, hey, bro, where'd you go? Oh, this guy. All right, just relax, bro. Keep going straight, follow the light, and oh, yeah, Brian got on all black. You can spot him easily. It's nighttime, what do you mean? Oh. Oh, I see him. Where you at, though? I'm inside. Are you hurry up. Hey, 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 uh, Brando got four legs, feathers sticking out his face, and a backwards tongue, do he? Whatever you just described, do not bring that near me. You are on your own. Light pollution. What is it? According to science.org, it nearly covers over 80% of the globe, with numbers increasing exponentially at an alarming rate that averages 10% each year. What's so scary about a couple light particles? Hey, but hear me out though. The dictionary definition of light pollution is the brightening of the night sky caused by street lights and other man-made sources. These have disruptive and detrimental effects on natural cycles, and they inhibit the observation of stars and planets. I did not comprehend anything you just said. Let's break it down then. There are three main forms of excessive use of artificial light. Glare, sky glow, and light trespass all contribute to light pollution. Ooh, they all sound pretty cool. But they're not. All right, think about this. You're walking down the street. Look to your left. Got it. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my Sunlight god. that's being reflected off a car hits you right see, in your see, eye. See, Tough look, buddy. Looks like Number two, sky glow. Sky glow gives the surrounding cities a yellow glow that lights up the night sky, hence the name. This event is caused by too much light being shown up into the atmosphere. The light scatters and reflects back into the ground. This effect is greatly enhanced if there are more clouds in the sky. Oh Number three, light trespass. Light trespass occurs when light is being shown outside the area it's supposed to be. A good example is the street light. Street lights are meant to light the way to make walking and driving safer. Sometimes street lights can shine into your bedroom. And I wouldn't want that. Now we got that out the way, I mentioned beforehand that light pollution disrupts natural cycles. This definitely includes wildlife. Our poor bird buddy in the beginning of the video witnessed this firsthand. The light from the city, aka sky glow, interrupted his migration path, which ultimately got him taken off the map. Right, bro. We can't forget our beautiful plants too. Plants experience photoperiodism, which is a response to changes in day length and enables them to change during the season. Look at this pretty cherry blossom. It's pink. Now it's orange. What? Many biological activities occur during photoperiodism. The presence of artificial light messes up these processes and well, turns them to one of these. Light pollution directly and indirectly affects climate change. Directly, it destroys nitrate radicals. The nitrate radical is a special form of nitrogen oxide, cleaning the air under the darkness. When the sun rises, the process stops because the sunlight breaks it down. When artificial light is being used in the nighttime, the nitrate radicals don't have a chance to clean. The indirect way is where it wastes resources that pollute the air. Though these are all scary things that light pollution causes, I can reassure you that there are many ways we can slow it down. There are a plethora of organizations that work toward fighting this problem. Among them, the International Dark Sky Association has have some solutions. Use LEDs and compact fluorescents. Pair them with dimmers, motion sensors, and timers to help reduce average illumination levels. Turn off any unnecessary indoor lighting and avoid blue lights at night. As far as what the governments are doing, I'd say it needs a little bit of work. Nonetheless, these sustainability issues can be solved right at your home. Not too bad.